Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a bell-shaped curve to a histogram in R. So before we start, let's take a look at the data setup that I have uh, for this video. We're going to use data taken from a 1955 study by SoCol and Hunter, and they measured the uh, wing lengths of, of 100 flies in millimetres. And I have uh, that copy of that file uh, in my um, working directory here on my own R studio. And there's also, if you want to try this yourself, there's a copy of this file on my GitHub, along with all the other files and R scripts used in this series of videos. Uh, the link to that GitHub is available in the information area below this video. So first of all, let me go ahead and read this data file into a vector called length wings. So click on run. And we can see in our global environment that our length wings um, vector has 100 observations of one variable. And next, next part then, we want to plot the simple histogram, a labeled histogram. So I'm going to plot a histogram of length wings, and there's only one variable in it called length. As we can see in the global environment area, there's length there. It's an integer with all the values. I want to have a heading on my histogram, uh, housefly wing lengths, and on my X label, I want to have a label with wing lengths in millimeters. And for the purposes of illustration, I'm going to plot a pink histogram here. So uh, let me go ahead and run this. And this displays our histogram over the right-hand side. You can see it's reasonably well bell-shaped. This data set is, is well known for this shape. If I zoom in on this, get a, a clearer picture, we can see we've got our full um, pink histogram drawn with the appropriate labels as I have done. So what if I now wanted to add the normal distribution frequency curve on superimpose it on top of this? So let's go ahead and do that. Before we do, we're going to need to be able to change uh, one aspect of the histogram that we have here. If you note over on the right-hand side in the histogram, you'll see on the left on the y-axis, the y-axis is the frequency of the uh, uh, what we show here. And this is a representation of frequencies, the count within each interval of a variable. So we want to need to change the frequencies to uh, a probability density instead. So we want to set uh, the probability density to plot so that the uh, histogram has a total area of one. So we want to keep an eye on this here. And when we plot the new chart, we're going to change this frequency to a density. To do that, I'm going to have to add in an extra parameter into my hist function. So at the end of line 12 here, I'm going to add in an extra comma, press enter to move on to the next line. And the way I'm going to change it from frequency to, prob to density is to use the prob parameter for probability. And that's equal to just set it to true. You can try this without adding this and you'll see the effect of the curve on the diagram. So now I need to uh, replot. And before I do that, just watch what happens. Um, frequency here on the left-hand side goes from 0 to 20. And when I run the new function with probability equal to true, run this, you'll see that the... Um, uh, let me zoom in on this to get a better look. You can see that uh, the density, everything is adding up to 1 here. So these are probabilities. Um, and all of these probabilities, when added all together, will add up to 1. So now we are in a position to draw the curve on this. So I'm going to X out of this. And to do this, uh, this is a slightly awkward in that it has a function within a function. So we're going to use the lines function, which plots lines on a chart. But we, we want to be able to do this using the new density of our, our, our length, wing length data. So uh, we're going to do this by another function called density and open and close brackets. Note at this stage now I have got uh, a matching brackets. I've got two pairs of open and close brackets here. So in the ones after density, uh, type in the variable name, which is L-E-N-G-T-H, length dollar, dollar sign, um, sorry, that's wings, dollar sign, and length. Okay. So what we're doing here now is we're going to draw a line using the density function, which is, has only got one uh, variable in it. So let's go ahead and run that. And you can see in our uh, squashed up diagram that the normal distribution curve is plotted, but let's zoom in on it for a better effect. So now we've got density, we've got all our labels, we've got our histogram shown, and we've now got the normal frequency distribution bell-shaped curve. So we can do this on any set of data uh, to show what the curve is going to be like. So I challenge you to try this on your own set of data. This is a fairly straightforward set of 100 fly wing lengths, which are known to be normally distributed. So that's what you see here. So try this on your own data set and see how you get on. So that's how you plot, uh, add a curve, bell-shaped curve to a histogram in R. I hope you found this video useful. 
Thank you for your attention.